Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Hey everyone, so today we are going to be unstuffing my wallet and doing mini savings challenges with the rollover for week one of August. But before we get into that, I have some happy mail that I need to open. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. So I am really excited for this happy mail. I am going into or in a no spend month. So I have decided that for August, I am going to try no spend. So prior to August hitting, uh, I made a few purchases because I needed to spend before my no spend. Does anybody else do that? Um, I feel like it was kind of, I don't know if the no spend was like helpful or not because um, I knew I was going into no spend and so I definitely got a few things, but I'm really happy with everything I got. It's things that I have been wanting for so long, especially this one. Um, if you guys don't know or can't tell already, this is <gasps> Busy Bees. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I finally got Busy Bee cards. Do you think I can see the sticker? Oh, I might be able to. <gasps> Cool. Oh, cute. Yay, I get to keep the sticker. So let me set that aside. All right, so guys, I got Busy Bee cards and I'm so excited for these. I've been wanting them for like literally ever. How cute is this packaging? And yeah, I finally got them. Ooh, just in time for my no spend month. <laughs> So I've seen so many people using these Busy Bee cards and these are from Two Sister Bees. If you guys are not familiar with their channel, <gasps> they are gorgeous. Look at this. <gasps> this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to have these. Hello and thank you for purchasing Busy Bee Savings Companion cards. You've just opened the pollen to your savings garden. Each card is designed to push you just a little bit further to save between one to six extra. Add a little honey with your money. Ooh, I love it. Yeah, these are really pretty. Super excited about these. I think it's going to be a nice, fun addition to my savings challenges. And I didn't know what size, um, what size dashboard to get. And I ended up going with A6. I think I wanted to go with A5. But you know what? We went with A6 and we're going to make it work. Um, okay, so heart made of honey. When you com when completed, you will have 200 saved for your hide, color a heart, and save five. Oh, that's cute. So this is a little freebie. And then this is a dashboard for the Busy Bee cards. Super, super excited about these. And something else I got is this cute little A5 off of Amazon. So that's why I said, I don't know if I should have gotten an A5 or an A6 dashboard for the Busy Bees. Because I didn't really know what um, they were going to go in. But I think they'll go in my other savings uh, challenge binder. But this one is beautiful. Like, I love this one so, so, so much. Like, I like it way more than this one. I really don't like this one. <laughs> But that's okay. Now I have two A5s, which is exciting because I have so many savings challenges. Okay, so then this one comes from Donna Power by Creativity, and I'm super excited for this one. So let's open it up. Alrighty, so let's see what we have. Cute. Just want to make sure there's nothing in there. Oh, cute. So Donna Power by Creativity. Hi, Kelsey. Thank you for ordering hugs. Donna, happy savings. Oh, that's super sweet. So that's Donna. And I ordered the elf scratch off. As soon as I saw this, I was like, I have to have it because as far as Christmas movies go, this is my favorite, hands down. And there's so many good Christmas movies out there, but I will gravitate to this one every single Christmas season. So super excited to get this one um, from Elf. It says Cotton Headed Ninny Muggins. So cute. And this is a Save 150 Scratch Off Challenge from Donna. 
Um, and she gave me a little prop bill, which is cute, super cute. So I will set these aside, very excited. I think this will go in my A5, not quite sure. We'll have to see, but um, I'm gonna set this aside and we'll get into this last one. Okay guys, so this very last one comes from my friend Tracy Monster over at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy. And she is here on YouTube as Tracy Monster. <gasps> this is so pretty, stop. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love it. This is gorgeous. So Tracy had posted a video saying that she was going to dis not discontinue. She was going to stop doing the board games that had the holographic scratchers on them because um, the company that she was getting them from discontinued them. Um, and so I had to get my hands on one more scratch off board game before she sold out of them. And so I went with the Under the Sea Savings, as you guys know, Turtles are my fave. I love the turtles for little Cornelius, who's our adopted sea turtle. Um, and when I saw this, it just really struck a chord and I knew I had to have it. So I love it. I absolutely love it. So excited. I'm not going to start this one until I complete Paradise Island Savings. And by complete, I mean like every single thing filled in completely. Um, and then once that one is completed <laughs> I will start this one so that way I always have like a scratch off board game going from her I just think these are really beautiful I think she does such a great job so that is this one and let me set this aside so speaking of things that I'm not going to be starting I wanted to show you guys I also got some digital downloads sorry marshmallow you're getting <laughs> moved so I also got some digital downloads and I put them in this binder because I don't plan on starting them now, but because I got them, I printed them off and they will stay here until I complete something and I'm ready to rotate a new one in. This is a mini savings from Donna Power by Creativity. Um, this is her Christmas story. It's actually an envelope that you can do front and back. So this is a cute mini savings that I got from her. I went over to Reinventing Renee, uh, both on Etsy and on YouTube, and I picked up this 654, I believe she calls it, which is a game, which I think would be really fun if I was to do like a game night where like one binder is just designated to all games. Um, that was kind of my idea for this. So I got this one. It came with a printout that had the rules and then one that was blank. I'll probably use the rules one first just until I get familiar with it. And then I also got this one. So this is Peaches Fun Run and all proceeds from the sale of this download go to the Peaches Foundation owned by D versus Debt. So I thought this one was really cute. First off, I love supporting um, causes and so I definitely wanted to grab this one but also there's an adorable little corgi and as you guys might know, I do have a corgi so I wanted to get this one which I thought was super cute. And then we have Shut the Box. I mean, I can't do a game night or have a game binder without having Shut the Box. So went over to Reinventing Renee again and got Shut the Box. Very excited to start this one because I've seen so many people playing it and I have yet to do so. So I got that one. And then um, also over on Donna Power by Creativity, I got the Monopoly game, since I have so much fun with the Saveopoly. I figured I would just get a bigger board game version of this. Um, so this one is sold by Donna, and I was very happy to grab that because you guys know I love Disney. Um, cute. I printed off a new one of Knockout to bring back into the rotation on a game night because I had completed this one by Budgets and Chaos, and I wanted to make sure that I brought it back and did it again. I also have a second copy of Bunko that I just had happened to print out too. Um, and this is just in here waiting for me to complete my first Bunko and then I will use this one. And then I went over to the Happy Mailbox Co. on Etsy or Lisa Grateful Me here on YouTube and picked up this Tropical Sunshine because this is just so beautiful and this makes me think of like summer and it's pink and cute and I love the flamingos. So I had to snag this before summer was over and I thought that hopefully if I can get through one of the mini savings challenges that I have going, I can bring this one in before summer ends. 
Um, and this is just the envelope that goes along with that. And she sends a freebie when you purchase from her store. So um, I got the summertime chill freebie from her. So this was really pretty. She's not doing this one as a freebie anymore, but she was for a little while. So I got this one. I thought it went really well as far as summer goes. And again, hopefully I can get through some of those mini savings challenges so that I can bring these ones in. Um, this was my freebie from the first time I had purchased the turtle savings from her. Um, and so this is a checkered savings challenge that she sent me. And then this is the freebie that I had gotten from her from when I purchased the, hold on, I got to find it now. Uh, her 100 envelope challenge. So by purchasing those, I got these freebies. So I have just printed them out. And then this here, guys, this is kind of cool, right? This I'm going to use as my completed savings challenges just as a way to like store them. So this is a little Nomi that I completed from Budgets and Chaos. So I put it there. And then this is my completed knockout board. Oh, you guys like cannot see that at all. So that's knockout completed. This was one of my budget with me's for June. I thought it was pretty. So I just stuck that in there. But basically, this is where I'm going to hold savings challenges that I have but have not started, as well as any savings challenges that I complete. So that is what is in here. And that is everything that I purchased as far as Happy Mail goes. Alrighty, so what we need to get into next is our mini savings binder and unstuffing my wallet with rollover. So let's take a look at what we have here. So I've got some money here and then also I've got my 10 there that came from my envelope. Just peeking through all the other envelopes and it looks like that is everything. And so let's see what we have. We had a lot of rollover from groceries this week, um, which was awesome. So we have, put this in order here. All right, so we have for rollover this week, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, $50 was not, not the 10, but I knew I had close to $50 from grocery rollover, which was awesome. Okay, let me stop getting distracted and really count this. 20, 30, 40, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So $67 today, which is awesome. Yeah, 67, that is awesome. So we'll be able to play um, a good amount of these mini savings challenges. So, oh yeah, I need to start with my penny savings. So let's go over here. So penny savings is right here and I didn't pull out any change from my wallet because I didn't have any change in my wallet. I think I stuck it in the piggy bank downstairs. But I do want to pull this out because I found 50 cents when I was um, when I was over at my dad's house. I randomly found this 50 cents on the ground and I thought it was really cool because it's a 50 cent coin and I don't see these very often. So like I don't know how people know it's 50 cents. I don't even think it says 50 cents on it. It says half dollar. Yeah, it does. It says half dollar. So I thought that was really cool. So I've got this 50 cents that I think, oh, it's not even going to fit. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Okay, so I dumped these other ones out because this one's really gross. So when I went to my bank, after finding this 50 cent piece, I went to my bank and I asked them if they had any like dollar coins or 50 cent coins just because like normally we don't get these in our change like i mean you could possibly get them in your change but i don't get them in my change like ever so um i thought they were cool and i thought it'd be cool to be able to show you guys here um but this is a dollar okay so this is a coin one dollar and um, these are more of those 50 cent pieces. So they've got like a portrait on one side, a bald eagle. There's a bald eagle one. Oh, that one's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see these, but then this one's like a building. So I thought these were really cool. Um, so I asked them if they had any of these like laying around and they had some. So I found this one at my dad's and then these ones I got from the bank. 
So all together I have 50, oh, just kidding, that's not 50, that's a dollar. <laughs> $2, $3, $4, $5. Yeah, so I've got $5 here, which is cool, except for this one's really gross. Um, so let's see what I can mark off on my penny savings challenge. So this is my penny savings challenge and it is available in my Etsy shop, which is linked down below. And you can get this as a digital download if you are interested. It's a four quarter savings challenge. You can save all year long um, and the increments go up to $3.65. So I have completed the $3.65. So I wanted to try to tackle the largest ones and then just hop around where I need to. Um, so if I have $5 and I minus out the $3.64, that gets me $1.36. So I'll probably just do this $3.64 and then $1.36 and then I will stuff this into marshmallow. So yeah, I'm gonna do this one down here that says $3.64. Try to do it cute so I don't mess it up too much. All right, so that's the $3.64 and then I need to do $1.36. So let's find a dollar thirty six. So that's going to be on quarter two. And set these up there. So a dollar thirty six right there. And I think I'll just stick with this purple. Perfect. So I have colored in my five dollars worth on my penny savings challenge. So let me pop that back in here. Okay, set this up. And then as far as marshmallow goes, I'm gonna have to open from the bottom and yeah, it fits. Okay, so I can just pop these down in. That was a dollar, that's two dollars, that's three dollars, that's four dollars, and the one dollar coin makes five dollars. So that is that and marshmallow has been stuffed. Okay, great. So now we can move on to our turtle savings challenge. And again, this one comes from Lisa Grateful Me. If you guys like anything that you see in my videos, you can absolutely look down in the description below because I have a lot of stuff uh, linked down there. So I think I'm gonna go with a three today and yeah, let's do this one over here. So I like this turtle savings challenge because it reminds me of our adopted sea turtle Cornelius. I tell you guys that every time I color this in. But I just think it's so beautiful. And I'm super, super excited to start that other one that I got from Tracy um, with the turtle on it. That one was really cute. All right, so I'm going to do $3 for this one. One, two, three. So I'll set that there and then I will grab my envelope. Here is our little turtle friend and we will add the $3 in and that means we now have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. So we've got $23 in our turtle savings challenge, which is great. And that will bring us to the Thanksgiving. So let me grab that one. Alrighty, so this is the Thanksgiving 22 week savings challenge. And this one is a collaboration with Lisa Grateful Me, Donna Power by Creativity and the Crafty Saver. So head on over to their channels if you guys are interested in getting this freebie and saving along for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm gonna do a $5 today and I think I'm gonna go back to the tried and true sparkly gold leaf. So let's do that one just to kind of finish off this row here and it will be a gold sparkle row. These ones are super cute. And I really love this challenge. This little girl down here reminds me of me just cause I have dark hair, long dark hair like this too. And she's just so super cute. She's loving fall just as much as I do. All right, so that is all set. We've got our $5. So I will grab the envelope for that. And in our Thanksgiving savings, we now have 10, 20, 5, 30. Wow, see how fast that adds up? Five here, five there every week. 
and I've already got $30 saved in there. That's pretty awesome. So the next one we will do is the Let's Save 315. And let me grab that one. Alrighty, so I just looked up to make sure I was really recording since it was on this one that my video stopped recording last week. Um, and I didn't want that to happen again this week. So um, this is Mickey Let's Save 315 by Donna Power by Creativity. And I'm gonna, I think this is the sparkle one, but let's roll these dice and we will see what we get. So I'm gonna roll two dice today and save whatever I roll. So let's see. So we got six. So we got a four and a two. So I think I'm gonna do this four right here. No, I'm gonna do this four right here. I mean, I really don't think it matters too much but I'm gonna do this four right here since the ones next to it were done with this sparkle. Oh, I went outside the lines. I'm so bad. If I don't go slow, I end up just going right outside the lines. So I did my four and I'm gonna do this two over here. So I'm gonna try to go slow. Wow. Even slow, I go outside of the lines. I don't know, am I shaky? Is it just me? All right, so I've got my two done. Perfect, so that is, oh, we've got to save it, don't we? Jeez, I almost, I almost forgot. All right, five, six, seven, don't let me forget, guys. That's what you're here for. You gotta comment, you gotta say, don't forget, don't forget, put your $7 in. Wait, is it seven? No, it's six. Yeah, it's six. Oh, I look. This is what you guys are here for. I heard you. I heard you say it's not seven, Kels. It's six, four, five, six, five, six, going into the Mickey Let's Save 315. When we add this in, we get 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, one, two, three, four, 34. That's good. That's getting somewhere too. This is exciting. It's like when you first start these, you think they're just gonna take forever, but they're kind of cruising right along. So the next one we will take a look at is my Etsy sales by state. Um, and so let me grab that. All right, we're still recording. <laughs> okay, so this is my Etsy sales by state. And every week I save a dollar for each sale or purchase that I get on my Etsy shop. And so this week I have saved, I have saved, <laughs> um, I will save $1 and I will save a dollar for a purchase from Louisiana. So I was very excited to see a purchase come through for Louisiana. Um, this is, hmm, what color should I do? Is it weird that I want to do like black or something? Because I think this should be this person's boot. Is that kind of weird? All right. I'm going with it. I'm going with blue gray. I know it's a random color, um, but I just feel like this is this gentleman's boot. I have mentioned it before, um, but yes, I was very excited to see a sale come through for Louisiana and the sale was for a digital download of my penny savings challenge. So that was really exciting for me. My first penny savings challenge sold, um, a digital download. So thank you so, so much for purchasing from me from my Etsy shop. Um, and I really hope you love your penny savings challenge. Um, but I have never been to Louisiana, but I would love to go to New Orleans one day. I think that would be amazing. I think the food and the music and everything would just be so awesome to experience. So hopefully someday I will be able to do that. And I have colored in this boot of this man. Like I said, I've explained it before, but I think this guy looks like a man and that's what we were taught in grade school. So that's what I'm going with. So I colored in his boot and that is done. All right, so I'm putting my markers away. I've got my dollar out. Thank you again so much. As I said, I appreciate your guys' support just over here on YouTube um, and over on my Etsy shop. Just anything you guys do, just getting eyes on my video or watching me or commenting to me, it really just means so much to me. I love this community. It is so amazing. Um, okay, so the next one that we are going to do is this little Disney one. Oh, no, not that one. This one, 
<laughs> so it comes with three and that one has not been started yet. So we will put this one back and we will work on the one that we have started. So this is a little Disney savings challenge by Donna Power by Creativity. And I say we do $10 into this one today. So let's go ahead and color a five here. And beautiful. And let me grab another color. How about this kind of red color over here? And we'll do this one. Went outside the lines a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, what? What did I do? <laughs> There's two ends and I pulled that one off. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna do $10 for this one today. And let's take a look in here. Thanksgiving, let's save 315, Etsy. All right, so in Disney we have, oops, oops, oops. We've got 10, 20, 25, 30, and I'm gonna exchange these two fives um, for a 10. Oh, let's put it in the right spot. So for a 10, so two fives in, one 10 out, and we still have 10, 20, 30 in the Disney challenge, which is perfect. So the next one, oops, I forgot to put the little challenge in. I don't know, it is kind of late tonight, so maybe I am just a little bit spacey and tired. <laughs> okay, so the next one that I'm gonna do is my save 100 times challenge. And this one is available on my Etsy shop. If you guys are interested, you can save 100 ones, fives, tens, or twenties um, by tracking off on this cute little tracker. And so I have decided to save fives, ones, and twos. And um, since I have a couple fives and a couple twos this week, why don't we just save a $5 bill this week? So let me grab a marker that will work. And I will grab this one and I am going to color in this icon representing my five dollars. Perfect. All right, so that one is all set and this one I don't count because I want it to be a mystery as those dollars and fives and twos go in. I have no idea what this is going to come to at the end and that is exciting. So that one is all set. We did our penny savings challenge. I did not have any star notes this week. I looked and I didn't have any. Alrighty, so that brings us to ice cream with the Nomies. So let me pop this out and we will get to scratching. All right, and again, I had to check and make sure I was filming because the last time I wasn't. All right, so this challenge comes from Budgets and Chaos. This was a freebie that she gave me when I made a purchase from her Etsy shop, and it was so sweet. So thank you so much, Mari, for sending that to me. Um, I think I'm going to scratch this one right here and see what I get. And this time, I'm going to scratch all around the edge first and save the middle for last. So let's see what we have. $2, perfect. Does that work out perfect or what? All right, so I'll bring it closer so you guys can see how adorable this is. So we got $2 right here. So we'll save these last $2 that we have. And I am just gonna pop them right in. And I don't count this one. I want this to be a surprise for me as well. And while we're here, why don't we check off a few more on this? So it looks like I have a 20, a five and a 10 left. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a five right here and I'm gonna do a five right here and that's gonna be 10. So I'll put a $10 in and then all we have left is a four and a four. And these, oh wait, and another five. These are hard to see because it's very small, but it's super cute. So another 10 going right down in. Again, I'm not gonna count this one. And then I have one more thing that I wanna do, guys. So definitely don't go anywhere. Um, I've got $25 left. Let me pop this back into place. And that is going to do it for my mini savings binder. 
And it's normally at this point that I pull out my 100 envelope box, but I am not doing that today. I'm going into the Easy Mini Cash Budget Thousand or Left Savings Challenge Planner. This one comes from Beautifully Me and You, and I got this one on Amazon um, from her, and it is linked below if you guys are interested. Um, I think I have it list listed as savings challenge book maybe um but i have been working my way through this oh look at this i'd like to get some more of these knocked off but um in here there is a super cute little savings challenge for one month's bill ahead so um i already kind of am a month ahead on most of my bills because um, I collect throughout the current month for the following month's bills that I pay on the first of the following month. But some of my bills aren't actually a month ahead because any subscriptions or any auto withdrawing bills, anything that auto renews monthly, I have those bills coming out of a credit card. If it can be pulled from a credit card, I have it pulling off of this one credit card that has been paid down to zero. So all month long, the credit card gets hit with all the subscriptions and everything. And then at the end of the month, I pay it because I've collected throughout the month, I pay it all back down to zero. So technically it's not truly a month ahead, but um, my AT&T bill actually comes off of that card. And they told me that if I wanted to continue getting my $10 discount, my bill had to pull from a checking account and not a credit card, which I'm fine with. I don't mind that at all. It's just more of a convenience thing for it to hit a card. Then I don't have to worry about when it's pulling, if it's, since it's auto withdrawing. And since I like to deposit all the money on the first and pay all the money on the first, if it hits any time that's not on the first, it, anyways, that's just how I do it. So what I want to do is this month, I want to get truly one month ahead on my AT&T bill. And so I'm going to use this tracker to do so. So I, uh, I usually pay about a 160 a month. Um, 160 and there's 30 of these symbols 31 if you count that and if I divide that out it's like five dollars and change um, but I think I'm gonna up it to six dollars for each symbol so it's gonna be each symbol equals six dollars and if I do six times 31 I get 186, so if I color in this symbol, it will be 186. But I think I'm fine with just coloring these, and I will just say the goal amount is 180, and that just gives me like a buffer from the 160, since I will wanna keep this 180 in my checking account all throughout the month, so that that bill can hit whenever it's ready. Um, and I want to have a buffer just in case it's like 162 or 165 or something. You know, sometimes things just are never exactly what you think they're going to be. Um, and so that's the 180. Oh, I need my marker because I forgot to write that we are saving for A, T, and T. So I am going to color in, since I have $25, um, I'm going to color in 6 and 6 is 12. 12 and 12 is 24. I'm going to do 25 and call that good. So I'm going to color four of these symbols and I will then show you where I'm going to put this money. So let's grab some markers and let's get the coloring. All right, so that is the four money bags colored and I'm just going to color in the bills. I'll go one, two, uh oh, three. Four. I tried my best. I think they look kind of cute. Okay, so that is 6, 12, 18, 24, and we are putting $25 in. And I am going to actually put this right into the AT&T folder. So hopefully if I can get this um, completed by the end of the month, I will have double what I need for this AT&T bill plus anything extra as a buffer. So the $25 is going down into AT&T and I will continue to try to hit this every week throughout the month to try to get this complete by the end of this month and get one month ahead on this bill. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.